Again, you can see how sedate he is. Some real um, obvious things to look for is the head below his carpuses, right? He's ataxic for sure. He's got that real loose lip, okay? And then you can obviously see he's starting to relax a lot here. So this is what we wanted. This is perfect. So I'm gonna approach from the front. And when I go in, I'm gonna grab it and I'm not gonna hesitate, okay? Otherwise they can retract it back in. And you can see how dirty it is. And he's been cleaned already this week. But if I lift up the sheath, you guys get to get all of this, okay? As bad as my thighs hurt right now from a really hard day working with horses and I wanna squat completely, I'm not gonna do it, okay? So not just the actual penis itself, but the sheath. Way up here in the sheath, like seriously, this is nasty, disgusting up there, okay? Right here, uh, urethra and then the urethral diverticulum around here this is where they get the bean the bean okay what is the bean it's just uh, like the schmegma that's all stuck right it is the schmegma um and then it's really round like a river rock right because there's been fluid flowing over it constantly and if that gets really big it can um cause a lot of irritation and obstruction okay and then all of this again is schmegma Okay, and that is a medical term, which is kind of weird, but it is a medical term. So skin, oil, debris, okay? So get a swipe. You guys are gonna have to um, take a little bit more time. Earlier in the week I said, save some for later. Make sure the other class gets some too, but you guys have to back clean up here and get all the rest of it. But again, the part that everybody forgets is up here in the actual sheath itself. It's disgusting up there. Okay, and as you can, he's really trying to like pull it back now. So this is where we pass the baton. And someone's gonna come behind me, and we're gonna.